Uh, yes, good afternoon, dear traders. Today is our second lesson. Uh, this is Alexander Gerchik, and uh, today, basically, we're going to try to figure it out, uh, point of interest on the chart uh, to get enter. Uh, just for you to understand, the most important thing uh, to enter the trade is the stop supposed to be in the right place in the right time. The most important thing it's when you choose the entry point, it's got to basically be with a short stop. So the most amazing part, if you write, if you find the right um, entering point, then basically you should uh, get the right stop. Uh, right now I'm going to show you a few charts and I will explain for you again what are the levels for and uh, basically how to deal with them. Uh, we basically, we're going to start with the euro. Hold on one second. All right, here we are. Uh, we're going to start with the euro. If you remember the last time when we spoke, uh, when we had a basically first webinar, we start with the levels. Uh, the levels were right here, 113.76, right here. If you remember, we said if the euro is going to go above, then we can have a very strong signal to the upside. But the most important thing, it's not to have a false breakdowns or false breakouts. So if you're going to take a look at the chart right here, that's we stood above right here all the way. But if you can see that yesterday, two days ago, we had a false breakout. We'll take a look at the two uh, bars. And this red bar, the high of the bar was 11.1.1476. And in this bar, 1.486. Pips higher. What it is, if you can take a look, that somebody really got a short position. In a previous lesson, I taught you that uh, false breakouts, that's the most amazing part in the business and that this is the easiest way basically to make money. What I want to tell you right now, that's if you feel and understand levels and if you feel the right levels and the right points and the right direction, it's going to be extremely easy for you to make money in the market. If you can take a look, for example, if you'll take away the right side of the market, you'll take a look, there was a very big level right there. It's a level of the high bar. And if you can see the previous bar, couldn't touch it. So once basically you have a breakout, then the most important thing is stay above. If you stay above the breakout level, then you're gonna go higher. But one, once basically you're gonna go below the level right here, you're gonna go lower. Right now, I'm going to try to uh, uh, make a print screen. I'll explain for you in a print screen, so it's going to be easier. Everything, whatever we do with you, we're going to do it together, so it's going to be easier for you. Okay. Now we're going to go and draw a few levels so you'll see how to draw levels right. That's the most important thing. Okay. If you can see, this was the first turnaround and this is the second turnaround. So that's how we're going to draw the level. That's the first level. Uh, second level. Second level. If you can see, it's going to be a high of the previous bar. We're going to make it a little bit thinner. See? Right here. That's how the level draw, and that's how the level draw. So you see, as you can see, you know exactly right now where the levels are. Just for you to understand, anybody who buys above one dot one three five zero, all of these guys, they're gonna lose money below one three five zero. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna initiate the first move. That's the most important thing. On a chart, hold on one second.
Okay, now you see the chart. That's how we draw the line from a previous high. This is the false breakout towards the previous level. This is the high level over the previous high bar, the price. So the most important thing for you to understand that all of these guys right here, all of these guys, they're going to basically capitulate once the level is going to break one, one, three, five, zero. Why? Because for now, if they don't see this level, they're basically in up money. They're making money while the price is staying between the levels. But once the price is going to go drop one bit below one, one, three, five, zero, all of these guys, they're going to capitulate. Why? Because they're going to start losing money. Nobody wants to lose money in the market. So once all of these guys, all of these guys, they're going to put the stops probably at the same place. And that's where it's going to be. Right here. That's where the stops are going to be. So once basically they're going to break level of 11350, they're supposed to stay short uh, in a euro dollar. But once, now we're going to go to the false breakout. Take a look. You see where the star is that's the false breakout first of all just for you to understand what the big buyer are trying to do or big seller the big buyer or a big seller they're trying to take the position against you what does it mean they're not fighting against you they just want to take your uh stop that's what they're trying to do why they need your stop they basically need your position because just for you to understand the buyer can take the position against the seller and seller can take the position against the buyer so the most important thing is to put the stop in the right place that the big buyer or a big seller cannot take the position against you so what do you do first you find the levels second of all you see how the price it goes against the level that's the most important thing so what do we do first Let's take the one clean picture. And let's say we'll put a British pound. Okay, now you see a British pound. Let's see. Yes, perfect. Now you see a British pound. Now we're going to draw the levels. First of all, it's going to be easier. We're going to make a screenshot of it.
right here we have a screenshot and now we're going to draw it first of all we're going to draw the very big levels the most important levels where the price either turns around or have a lot of touches as you can see it's the first turn around so we're right now in a very deep channel it's a 144 to 140 as you can see that's where the level goes as you can see why you cannot put the middle levels because the price were never there so the most important thing right now is just to wait for the level 140 if we're going to break the level 140 that's exactly where we're going to go to 139 the most important thing is when you enter the price you have to know where where you're going to put a stop Antosh, открой. Um, you have to know where to put a stop uh, basically if you put a stop right above 140 you can basically get take out by the uh, false breakout so that's how it can be the price can go here and then here see so the most important thing it's to basically draw the right lane right here it's the first lane as you can see you cannot count these levels for one simple reason because this level is already broke once this level is going to be breaking again we're going to go straight lower and fast that's the most important thing when you take a look at the other levels that's what they are see so what do you do first when you look at the chart you have to draw the lines once basically you draw the levels you have to know where we're supposed to go let's stay with the we'll put again the price of the uh, euro dollar six And we'll figure it out where basically uh, uh, euro supposed to go. Hold on. The first stop of the euro, as you can see, it's 112. Why 112? Because from 112, we went up and did the new high. Once we're going to basically break 112, we'll go straight to 111. Why 111? Because from 111, we had a paranormal bar. So we went high and fast. That's what's supposed to do. So every time, just to finalize, as you can see, it's a very strong level. I'll draw it for you again. So you'll see how to basically. Okay, we made a screenshot again, and this is our level. The level is 111. Take a look. Second level is right here. There's another level. So that's how we go. Once we're going to break 112, we'll go straight to 111, and then straight to 110. Why? I'll explain. Take a look. You see that's how the price goes from one level to another one just for you to understand once you have a significant move from the uh, certain levels then you put this level as an extremely important level what will it give it to you it would give you the direction and the stop the most important thing is to put a stop at the right place once basically you're going to know where the level are and what the stops are then it's going to be much easier for you to trade what do we try to do our friends uh what we want you to do uh, we want you to send us all information that you like for example if there's any chart that you like us to give it to you or to take a look please let us know because you know it's much easier for us to understand and explain you what exactly you want
show us all your charts, show us basically what you like about it, and we will help you to make money. Uh, it's been Alex Gerchik, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, write us email to Gerchik and Company.